introduce you to how to engrave a photograph on black marble or black granite. First of all, bring an image into Corel Draw. Next, select the image. Go to the Crop tool, which is located on the toolbox on the far left. Select Crop. Draw a rectangle around the area that you want to crop out. Again, typically with most photographs, we're trying to isolate the individuals and get rid of any excess information that's in the photograph, such as the background or any un unwanted individuals. You can select one of the handles and drag out or drag in. Once you're done, double click on the image. Next, go back to our pick tool or press the space bar. Now we need to convert the image to grayscale. I don't like to work on images that are in color because the laser machine automatically converts the image from color to grayscale. So there's really no sense in working in color. Plus the file size is three times larger. So go to bitmaps, mode, grayscale. The next thing that we want to do is we actually want to adjust the image and lighten it up. Typically what I want to do is I want to lighten up the, the lighter areas in the image and keep the dark areas. Thus this eliminates using the brightness contrast tool. Do not use this. This is not a good tool. What we're going to use is, is the contrast enhancement tool in Corel Draw, which is located under the effects, adjust, contrast enhancement. Again, if you want, you can click the little rectangles in the top left hand corner here and this will open up our preview window. Our original image is on the left, our adjusted image is on the right. I'm going to reset the controls and I'm going to click on the lock tool so that any, any adjustments I make will be reflected in the right hand image. First of all, we're going to slide our highlight slider to the left. This will force all our lighter pixels white. What I'm looking for is an image that's comprised mostly of dark pixels and white pixels. This will give me a good image on black marble. Again, don't worry if the image looks washed out because when we laser engrave it, it will actually look good. Again, you can see that my lightened up image. If you right click on the left window, we can zoom out. If you left click, you zoom in. Once you're done, then we're going to adjust the gamma adjustment. Typically, I'll usually something around 1.3, but again, a lot of this is up to the individual photograph and what you're lasering on. Once you're done, click OK. The next thing that we're going to do is we're actually going to go to bitmaps, sharpen, unsharp mask. The unsharp mask will again give us a better contrast or differentiation between the white and the dark areas. Typically I'll take my percentage right to the end, make sure your lock button is engaged, and we're going to work with a radius of around six or seven. Again, you can increase the radius depending on how you want the image to look. If you right click on the left window, you, you zoom out. Left click, you zoom in. Again, if you hold the mouse down, you can drag around and move around the image. Once you're done, click OK. There's our image. Again, if we want, we can zoom in on our image. There's our image there. The next thing we're going to do is we're actually going to convert our image to black and white. Select black and white. Select the Floyd Steinberg or Jarvis or Stuckey. It doesn't really matter which one. Again, you can move around and see the effect. Don't zoom out because your image won't look very good. It'll be hard to see it. Again, you can adjust the intensity if you feel that you want to lighten up the effect. Click OK, 
and you're done. <clears throat> the only other thing we have to do is go to Effects, Transform, Invert. The reason we're inverting is because we're going on something that's black, and thus anything that we laser is going to be white, anything that we don't laser is going to be black, so we need to invert our image. So thus it looks like a negative.